So 3D printing is fundamentally better than injection molding. So there, there is this theoretical framework of working up from first principles, where you take the very most fundamental truth of some concept and work up from there to see if your application actually works. Uh, it very often is based in science, but you can bring it up into business and uh, technology very easily. So if we apply this framework of thinking at the fundamental truths of like manufacturing, uh, the making of a plastic product with injection molding and with 3D printing. With injection molding, there are several inputs that go into making that product. You first have to get the mold, which is its own component. You then put that mold into a machine, but that's pretty much normal. There's some labor around. You then put in plastic, which has some cost, and then you put in energy in the form of heat or electricity to melt that plastic and run the molding machine, which has some cost. Uh, and we'll assume that this machine is perfectly efficient for theoretical sake. So there's basically those three inputs, the mold, plastic, and electricity. Now let's go over to 3D printing. With 3D printing, you have plastic in the form of filament or powder or resin or whatever it happens to be, which should technically have the same cost as molded plastic because the pellets that are turned into filament um, have very little processing to them. To make filament, you just take those pellets and run them through an extruder to make a long line of filament, which is basically a negligible part of the process. You can assume that there's some waste in turning it into filament, but then if you then assume, oh, what if you have a direct pellet extrusion machine that could theoretically be achieved at some point, or if you look at powder, which is a perfect process, um, then the stuff is as pure as it can be. You have plastic and electricity. Whereas with traditional manufacturing, you have the mold, the plastic, and the electricity. And we're ignoring CNC machining because subtractive manufacturing is obviously a waste because you have an amount of raw material, you cut away 50% or 80% of it, and then you have a useful part, and then you have to recycle all that material. So it's very clearly not the right one. The mold is something that is amortized over the cost of all those plastic parts, but it shouldn't have to exist. If 3D printing is working correctly, the only inputs to it are plastic and electricity, whereas injection molding will always have plastic, electricity, and then the mold. It is just an engineering problem to make 3D printing better than injection molding and more scalable than injection molding, because fundamentally, there is no reason that it shouldn't be as cheap, if not cheaper, than injection molding. And that is the fundamental idea that we built Slant 3D on. The fact that it's just an engineering problem to take plastic and electricity and grow apart out of thin air without all the tooling and all the other junk that comes with traditional manufacturing. So that's why 3D printing is fundamentally better than any other type of manufacturing and will eventually replace every type of manufacturing. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, please like it and subscribe down below. Have a great day, everybody.